What is so special about this battery and what does it mean for the EV industry? Everyone is talking about a new electric battery called a nano electro fuel, an EF flow battery because of the huge potential it has for transportation and power generation in the future. This innovative battery type has many advantages over lithium ion batteries and the good news is that we will soon start seeing them in vehicles that are ready for production. Hello and thanks for stopping by. To avoid missing any of our new videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification feature. Sharing is greatly valued and we appreciate your participation and feedback in the comments section below. IEEE Spectrum Magazine claims that these batteries, which are a huge improvement over conventional flow batteries, will change the way we use and store energy forever. The United States Department of Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency is spearheading a revolutionary new development in energy storage technology called nano electrofuel flow batteries, which will increase energy density by using nanoparticles. This could lead to better electric vehicle performance and a more efficient grid overall. So, what is a nano electrofuel battery battery anyway? A novel approach to reduction oxidation is the use of nano electric fuel cells. Originally proposed by Charles R. Wetherill over 150 years ago, the redux flow battery design came back into the spotlight in the middle of the 20th century, when NASA scientists worked on it for a potential moon base and later saw improvements made for usage in grid storage by a number of organizations and businesses. An electrical chemical reaction pushes electrons along a circuit, generating electricity in a flow battery cell. The cell employs two chemical solutions containing ions, one of which acts as the analyte next to the anode and the other as the catholite near the cathode. Ions derived from iron, chromium, or vadium chemistries are commonly used in redux flow batteries. The second method makes use of atoms four different ionic states, making it a useful analyte and catalyte in a battery cell. In the chemical side of the reaction, ions move from one solution to the other through a membrane that separates them, preventing them from mixing. In the electrical side, current flows from one electrode to an external circuit, which then returns to the other electrode. This allows for two methods of charging the battery. Both systems can be charged on the spot using an alternating current, just as regular batteries or used charge solutions may be swapped out for empty ones at a far faster rate, and they outperform and outsave lithium batteries. Flow batteries can also be readily scaled up. To store additional energy, simply raise the concentration of the solutions or make the solution storage tanks larger. Adding more stacks or cells on top of each other will increase the power output. This scalability makes flow batteries suitable for applications that require as much as 100 megawatts according to Kara Rabi, a technical principal at Volta Energy Technologies in Neal, Illinois and an expert in flow batteries. Unlike lithium batteries which have a fixed ratio of energy to power, flow batteries can be customized to meet different demands. She gives the example of the challenge of balancing power grid energy flows, which necessitates both rapid response times and massive volumes of energy storage. Flow batteries have multiple applications including electric vehicles, microgrid backup power, and renewable energy integration. An innovative take on the traditional flow battery, nanoelectric fuel cells employ ionic liquid particles as their anode, cathode, and electrolyte. This allows them to store and release more electrons, leading to greater energy density and quicker charging times. The stability of the nanoparticles and the ignitability of the ionic liquid make nanoelectric fuel cells less combustible. There has been encouraging progress in the development of nanoelectrofuel batteries in laboratory tests and prototypes. These batteries have the potential to outperform lithium batteries in terms of energy density, safety, and cost. Additionally, they could open up new possibilities for applications like electric aircraft, which require batteries with high performance and lightweight construction. The low viscosity of NEF is also very important. It's the key to maximizing charge discharge efficiency, power ratings, and minimizing parasitic losses in flow batteries. Fortunately, Influ Energy has figured it out with their innovative method for preparing and dispersing nanoscale electrode materials in aqueous electrolytes. This process allows for very stable suspensions with high solid loadings, which in turn produces an energy density that can compete with that of lithium ions. We're talking 350 watt hours per liter at the system level and operating temperatures ranging from minus 4 to plus 80 degrees celsius by combining several energy storage methods they have achieved an energy density that can rival that of lithium ions rechargeable nef batteries aren't just a greener alternative to gasoline for transportation they're also ideal for sustainable integration with other renewable energy applications think of them as the eco-friendly sidekick to renewable energy sources always ready to save the day with their clean and efficient energy storage capabilities. This is all thanks to concepts like solid battery chemistries in a flowable format, 
which have enabled NEF to meet energy density targets for transportation. Thanks to some government contracts that have been well utilized, Influ Fluid Energy has been making some big moves on this front. The company has improved the nano electro fuel itself, tweaking the battery architecture and fine tuning the recharging and delivery system, according to the folks over at iSpectrum Influence. Co founder and CEO John Kudas is singing the praises of their technology. He's also said that these batteries can store a hopping 15 to 25 times more energy than your run of the mill float batteries. If that wasn't impressive enough, he's also claiming that they'll be cheaper and longer lasting. Kudas also mentioned that the traditional flow battery commercially has been around since the 70s, but the first flow battery is over 100 years old. You have a liquid that you can store and charge in and get the charge out. You flow it through a metal porous material that can conduct electricity. The metal porous material is called an electrode, and it is separated by a membrane that allows ions to pass through but prevents the solutions from mixing. The flow of the solutions is controlled by a pump, and the flow of the electrons is controlled by a load flow batteries which can be seen in science experiments in the form of lemon or potato batteries that release a charge from an energy storage fluid are essentially just organic acid solutions connected to metal wires. In these batteries, the acids donate and accept hydrogen ions, resulting in a voltage difference between the electrons. Flow batteries have a low energy density due to the physical limit of ionic salts dissolved in liquids. This limits the energy density and makes them heavy and cumbersome. Influ has developed a new liquid called nanofluid, composed of nanoparticles fewer than 100 nanometers in size. This liquid has unique properties like high surface area, reactivity, and tunable functionality, increasing energy density and overcoming the solubility limit. Nanoparticles can store and release more charge than ionic salts, improve conductivity and stability. Influ is developing a battery that can store energy at a rate of 550 to 850 was slash or higher, compared to standard EV lithium-ion batteries. These batteries are fireproof and can be replaced in just five minutes. Flow batteries offer the advantage of scalability, allowing engines to be larger without reducing tanks and combining the best features of solid and flow batteries, making them an ideal transportation solution. The charging process for Influ Nano Electro Fuel batteries is designed to be efficient, using four nozzles for flow and pumping out liquids. The battery is expected to have an even longer cycle life, outperforming traditional batteries in terms of cycle length. With the military's electric supply vehicle and electric tactical vehicle transition deadlines approaching in 2030 and 2050, Influ is an attractive option for electric aircraft production. However, nano-electro-fuel faces competition from other battery technologies such as lithium-manganese iron phosphate batteries and lithium-ion batteries. Despite these challenges, nano-electro-fuel remains a promising tech that could revolutionize electric aviation and transportation. That's where we wrap things up for this episode. It is actually a great deal sticking around until this point. Here's a quick recap of what to do before a new video is published. First up, be mindful of our uploading schedule and timing. You can also keep up with new video uploads by clicking the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. To freely support of work, you can return the favor by sharing our content and making this channel your home for valued information. Also, your feedback in the comment sections below is greatly valued, some of which will be featured in new video releases. Thanks for watching this episode and do have a splendid day.